Alright. Hey, we got Weston making a return to my setup. Is this winner's round one, yeah? Okay. Weston versus Death Gaze, everybody. I'm gonna pass the mic on to Moby. Top player Lucretia is gonna go free up his bracket right now. Hello, 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 stream. I have no idea what the levels are like, so I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume you can. So we've got Young Weston versus. Uh, not so young anymore, Death Gazer. Alright, got some technical assistance there from top player Lucretia. Alright, so we got pretty even start to this. Uh, Western, like, pretty big underdog here, but let's see what it can do. Alright. Uh, Laser interrupt the recovery into there, pretty stock edge guards. Western trying to cover a roll in, not quite fast enough. Uh, I think this is Death Gaze's. Alright, I'm gonna say Death Gaze's plan at this percent is just to play a little more defensive and rack up the damage, but he only gets a 50% extra credit before running into an ultimate. Alright, here's a big punish. Questionable side B in. It's rightly sent back off. And now it's a full stop lead suddenly. Nice, nice. So we're seeing really that Death Gazer just is uh, making more off of an opening. Weston's getting some straight hits, but not able to convert them to anything. Every time Death Gazer gets a hit, it's bad news. Ooh, uh, reverse laser, that's not quite what Weston wanted. Um, Death Gazer gets an extended punish off of it, and then suddenly what seemed like a close game is running away. Good angle there on the cover from Weston. Good ledge dash in as well. Ooh. Okay, okay, cleans up that with a down smash. But now he's got a bit of a mountain to climb. Ah, another ledge dash, alright, alright. So the last dog 105% ledge dash is not the worst one to fail. Striking in this match a bit of a crapshoot. FD. If a fox takes a Falco here, I feel like it's a major sign of a new school mentality. I feel like traditionally Falco's extended vertical combos make this a bad stage, but nowadays we've got chain grabs and we got a much better flow chart. Alright, Western Knight would have made a bad good extended edge guard from Death Gazer. See, here we go, here we go, this is the chance to even it up. Nah. Drops it up a bit. I feel like maybe could have just done a regrab instead of that up till. Great stuff from Death Gazer, that was lovely. Uh, that was less lovely. <laughs> and Western capitalizes, alright. Now we're just to shine away. Death Gazer off stage. Western lets him back on. Alright, nice grab. Interesting, he stopped going for the chain grab there. Maybe he spooked by dropping it earlier. Finally cleans up that stock. Had a few openings that he wasn't able to convert. And there's a side B of zero. So <laughs> there we go, alright. Opportunity for Weston. Needs to um, just play safe the stock and run with his lead as much as possible, but Death is not giving him a chance. Okay, great angle. That's, I believe that's what we call a Muta King angle, but it didn't matter. And only managed to get 13% extra credit for his trouble. Still, just need a shine. Nice up conversion from Death Gazer and unable to sweet spot that. Thing. 